How are you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can get any app on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic. As you can see here, I have Facebook and Instagram. Again, just scrolling through Facebook right here. Let's go back to Instagram, showcase what that looks like. Again, it's fully loaded on here and you guys can see what this looks like. So to get started, you need several things. You need an app called Bug Jagger here and you can get that from the Play Store. So if you just open up your Android phone, right, to go to Google Play Store and type in here, Bug Jagger. See here, download it. I have it installed. I'm just going to open mine here. So when you open it, you're going to get this app right here, like you've seen here. So the next thing you want to do is take your Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, go to settings right here, and you're going to need to enable developer mode. I have mine enabled here. But for you guys, you're going to want to go to about watch here, scroll all the way down to software information here. Then you want to tap the software version about like five times here. And then as you can see here, developer mode is turned on. So then we want to go back and you'll see here developer options. So you want to click that. Go down, make sure ADB debugging is checked on. Go to wireless debugging here. Now this is different from doing it on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and Watch 4. For some reason, it acts like it doesn't detect it, but it actually does. So again, we're gonna enable wireless debugging here. And here it gives you your Wi-Fi address here. So I'm just gonna allow it. And as you can see here, this is my IP address and port. So we're just going to go to pair new. All right. So, so next on the phone, we're just going to click this. So we just have to make sure that this matches. So we're going to go to pair here. So the next important thing is you want to make sure that your watch is connected to Wi-Fi and so is your phone. After that, you want to hit the settings here. And then again, you want to go to developer option here, go to ADB debugging checked on, and then click the wireless debugging here. And then you want to hit pair a new device. And so now you want to enter all this like it is here. So again, 8623. And then my port is the same port here. Next, you want to enter the pairing code here. So again, 274810. Then we're going to hit next. And as you can see here, successfully paired. And then you're going to get this thing that shows up here. And then once you do so, it pairs. Now it looks like it says fail to connect, but as you can see here, it actually does connect, right? So the next thing you want to do is you just want to download some APKs, right? So again, you just go to your Google search on your phone and download any APK you want. So I have several APKs here. I have Discord, for instance, I have Google Chrome here. So we're just gonna hit something like Chrome. As you see, it says install in here. So it's installing. Uh, is installing Discord actually. So once that's done, I'll show you guys what Discord looks like running on this. So it takes a little bit like you've seen right here, but after a while it's gonna say installed has finished and then it should be able to work on the smartwatch. So as you can see there, it said that installed in the bottom. So let's open up a smartwatch and see what this looks like now. So we're going to scroll all the way down and so you can see Discord is here. So I'm going to open it up, take a look at Discord running on this device. So here's Discord running. As you can see, this works pretty well on here. You can chat, you can see your groups. This is some conversations that me and the boys have been having. But yeah, this is Discord now working on the smartwatch. So again, let me know if you find this video helpful. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.